stop living like you have no breath. Stop living like you have no wine. Stop living like you have no water. Release the river. Out of your bellies will flow rivers of living water. Who is the water? It is not your feelings of plenty. It is Jesus Christ himself. The river is not your feeling of plenty. The river is not a thousand likes on your Facebook post that made you feel better about what you just said. Does God like what you said? Then you're fine. And if he didn't, you might be in trouble. Realign your motives and priorities. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Stop living like you have no bread. You have enough to feed thousands. You have enough to feed the 5,000. We have enough to feed the 5,000 because it is Him and us. There's always enough. There's always enough, enough. He never runs out. You will never reach for more of Jesus to give away and find that you are empty. Before he told Peter to feed his sheep, he fed Peter. Some people say feed people hungry. I don't. I say you have nothing to give them if you're empty. And there is no reason to be empty. The tomb is empty. You're not. I just fell empty. What you mean is, I believe the tomb is empty. I just feel empty. Oh, what you mean is, the tomb is empty. Praise God, I'm filled. The tomb is empty. I just feel afraid. Oh, you meant the devil's afraid. Oh, what you meant, I know what you meant to say. I just don't feel right. What you meant to say is Christ has made me right with God. I just don't feel like myself. That was not the goal of Calvary. Let me see if I can make Cheyenne feel more like Cheyenne. No, he filled me with Jesus. <laughs> Next time you feel hungry, eat of him and then give him away. Drink of him and then let the rivers of living water flow from your belly in the name of Jesus.